Oh, good day, Mr. Bill here again. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on creating the Doppler effect using things in Ableton Live. So, um, basically, what the Doppler effect is is kind of a natural phenomenon that occurs in your everyday life, where uh, the observer or listener is standing in one position, a sound approaches them, and then I guess deproaches them or moves away from them and um, basically as the sound approaches them it, it is perceived as uh, the frequency rising and as the sound moves away from you then the sound is perceived as dropping in frequency so um, essentially if we drop a synthesizer into a channel create a midi clip then we just create a, a long note so that long and then we um we imagine that we're standing in the middle bar three and as the sound is approaching us it's bar one and two and as the sound is moving away from us it's bar three to five then the way we'd go about recreating that <coughs> is first of all we'd have the sound going from left to right or front to back if you have that option with a plug-in or something um, you would also have a volume automation so the volume would uh, start off quietly and as it gets closer to you it would obviously get louder and then as it moves away again it would get quieter again. So if we just listen to that, it sounds like this. So so far it's not quite the Doppler effect. What we need to do now to create the Doppler effect is uh, turn our pitch bend range up or well, you can just do it with semitones, but that's not quite as smooth. And then as the sound approaches us, we want the sound to rise, and as it moves away, we want it to drop again. So we'll try and recreate this. And that's it. it's, it's going a little bit too high. So that's essentially all the Doppler effect is. I'll give it another oscillator with the octave. And possibly detune them a bit just for a bit of texture. You might mess with the volume automations a bit, make it start quieter and come up more sharply. Drop quicker as well. It's a bit too sharp. Make it come up even quieter and drop quicker. It's not happening as smoothly as I'd like, so basically I just have to play around with this until I get it right. Yeah, so that's even closer anyway, you just have to play around with it, but yeah, basically that's how you go about creating the Doppler effect in Ableton. Alright, cheers, take care.